don't you worry. What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. We back, baby. Today we're gonna be doing a top five fall edition of best fragrances, at least in my opinion. Well, not really my opinion. This was actually chosen by um, someone that's near and dear to me. And I trust her judgment a lot. I don't think that she would ever steer me wrong. So without further ado, we're gonna just jump right into it. First things up, from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, we have La Nuit de L'Homme. All right, now this makes a lot of people's like top 10s, top 5s for fall. Like this is just an amazing, delectable fragrance. This is fresh, spicy, like it has a nice, witty dry down and a loud bergamot opening. Like, I really do like this one a lot. Um, uh, so this is actually my, I think my second bottle. You can normally pick this up from either online or like an online retailer, or you can pick this up from like uh, your Macy's or your Nordstrom. And this is probably run you, if you get it online, maybe like $80, $90. And if you get it in storage, maybe like a hundred and up. All right, so again, that's Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de L'Homme. Next up, from the house of Dolce and Gabbana, we have the One EDP. Now. This is also a great fragrance. Uh, this has hints of like amber and tobacco, and uh, I believe it also has a woody dry down as well. Uh, this one is great. I love this. Uh, this will garner you a lot of compliments. Like this makes a lot of people's top fives, top tens as well. So I really do enjoy this fragrance. I actually just picked this up not too long ago. I just ordered this online and I believe I just got it for around about 80 bucks. So. Um, I do like this one. I do believe that the EDP is better than the EDT. It's it's like a little bit stronger. The only thing I have with this is that it doesn't last as long. But however, when you like, I would keep this on to to double up throughout the day. You want to you know re reapply, so that would be a good idea. But all in all, amazing fragrance. You know, it's a good job by them. Dolce and Gabbana, the one EDP. Next up, Yves Saint Laurent again. This is. Lome Parfum Intense. I did put a significant dent in it. I tend to actually wear this one throughout the year. So more than just like winter and fall, I tend to carry this one into the spring as well. I do really like this one. And I will let you know the notes on it right now. This actually has notes of amber. Um, it's citrusy. Uh, you also have a white, a white floral, right? Woody and uh, like a hint of alimatic, animalic, what was I saying? Anyway, I do like this. This will garner you a lot of compliments as well. I do like believe that this can extend, you, you can apply it right, this can extend you into spring. I really do enjoy this one as you can see, like look at that. So anyway, Yves Saint Laurent, Lone Parfum Intense. Next up from the house of Ferragamo, Womo. All right, so this one I just got, I believe when it had, around about the time that it came out, I believe it was 2016. I had just picked this up maybe like a month or two after. Now this one, it, it smells like a, it smells like chocolate to me. It's a, it's a gourmand fragrance, so it has like a tiramisu background. Um, you may get like hints of coffee in it as well. I really do enjoy this one a lot. So this will be great for uh, fall and winter as well. I do enjoy this one a lot and a lot of people tell me that this one smells great as well so I think this will be a good pickup for this fall. Last up, one that I just picked up recently and I do enjoy. I don't know why I didn't get this one sooner. I was on the fence about it like a while ago and for some reason like I would just never get it. I would smell it and then I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, whatever. So this one is from the brand Replica or Mason Martin Margiela we have jazz club so i just got this one recently i bought it um i think i bought this one i bought this one online and i probably paid around about like somewhere around about the hundred range for this and it's one that i was thinking about getting for a while i do have uh also by the fireplace i always thought by the fireplace was better but now that i actually have this one i'm not so sure about this one i mean i'm not so sure about that so 
I, in my opinion, I do think that this, even though it says that it's a male fragrance, I believe that this can also be a unisex. I do believe that women can wear this if applied right to them, that this can smell great on a woman as well. I do really enjoy this. If this is how a jazz club smells, then like, I don't know why that wasn't hanging out one sooner. Like this smells absolutely great. So um, this was her number one that she had picked and so much she loved it so much that she tried to steal it from me <laughs> so anyway um that's gonna be the top five that i have for fall fragrances if you haven't checked any of these out i would recommend to go do so get your nose on it see what you like um let me know in the comments below what you will be wearing for this fall uh what are you wearing as of right now and what are going to be your new pickups in the future let me know drop it down in the comments remember to like comment and subscribe i'm out of here guys